Hi guys, JP from FSI panel. We are sitting in New York, LaGuardia Runway 13, and we are going to do the River Visual 13 using a snapshot that I have made and that is ready for you to use. It's available in the uh, description down below, so if you want to download it, go ahead. And bear in mind, it is for 737-800, so PMDG 737-800. So make sure you load a 737-800 at LaGuardia Runway 13, and then you can import the snapshot and fly the river visual runway 13 here i have set elna vinav everything for you and the idea for me here is to try the capability to test the capability of the pmdg 737 you are free to fly that approach without any aid just flying it manually that's up to you it's a visual approach but here we will give it a shot with maximum automation and see how she can manage this kind of approach all right, so before I forget, please subscribe to the channel. That will help me do more and more video for you. And without waiting, let's jump in the cockpit and import the snapshot and flight. So let's go in the cockpit. Ready to fly, here we are in our cockpit. I will not touch anything, FSI panel will do that for me. So let's start FSI panel and I'll show you how to import the snapshot. All right, so here we are in FSI panel. We can see LaGuardia runway 13 and it's 800 series, PMDG 737-800. So we are good to go. And you have to take the .fsi. This is the snapshot file that you can find in the description down below. So download it, unzip the file and take it and drag and drop it over FSI panel main window. Then you will get a summary of what is the snapshot. So basically, we are doing the river 13, 5 nautical miles south of position VZ. And here you have two options, save the snapshot if you want to have it in your database so that you can repeat that approach as many times as you like or fly the snapshot if you just want to try it. So here what I will do, fly snapshot. Here it is, summary, we're going to be at 4,000 feet. So we will move the aircraft and then I will brief uh, the uh, exercise for today that you can repeat. So move aircraft, we go in the cockpit and we will let FSI panel do the job from here. So now preparing your cockpit, so the flaps are moving up, we will go in the air. As I have Thrustmaster, I have to make sure that the parking brake is released, that's the case, perfect. And now I will just wait and see what happened. Here I had to go with the gear up as well because of my Thrustmaster that was down. So I have to put the gear up manually, that's because of the hardware. Okay, so we are waiting for 4,000 feet. We should have the uh, bridge in front of us right there. We can see Manhattan already here, and this is Twin Piers, and I will brief the approach uh, in a couple of seconds. I think we're gonna, we will improve as well the uh, weather a little bit to have a better view as it's a beautiful approach, and then feel free to change the weather to make it more difficult or uh, as, as you like, in fact. just. Keep in mind, it's a visual approach. So even though I have set everything here for you, it is a visual approach. So you need to make sure you know where you are and you are in contact with the ground at all time. Okay, that's very important. And the ATC will not give you the clearance if the weather doesn't permit this kind of approach. Okay, so FSI panel has finished the work. So let's quickly change the weather there to have something a little bit better. So we are going to put the ceiling up so that we can see outside better. Perfect, so we are maintaining 4,000 feet and let me brief, brief now the, uh, the approach, what is in the box and what we are about to do. So this is what we will try to do. We'll go from VZ, which is the bridge in front of us. And here we should be at 4,000 feet. As you can see down there, when cleared for the uh, river visual runway 13 approach, remain over the Hudson River. So that's what we will do. And starting the final approach north of Central Park. Expect 4,000 feet until a beam the Statue of Liberty, 3,300 feet when authorized by ATC. So we will maintain 4,000 feet until we are a beam Statue of Liberty. This is something that I put as well as a restriction in the FMC. Then we continue to Liberty, which is a beam Empire State Building. Then we'll go to the point Rio, which is a beam Central Park. Finally, we're going to have the final turn at Zulu Lima November Golf Romeo 
which is a BMD Columbia University. And we have the final. As you can see, we have the ILS here as a guidance. 108.5 and 134, this is as well said by FSI panel. There is no missed approach procedure on that one. So we have to request ATC uh, what kind of uh, missed approach they want us to do in case we go around. So here we will just assume runway heading 3,000 feet. We need at least visibility five miles, as you can see, and a ceiling of 3,300 feet. So we are okay on the weather that we just set. So let's go back into the aircraft and I will show you what I've set for you. So here, what I've set for you is basically the routing VZ, which is the bridge. If we have a look from outside, you can see the bridge. We are five miles south of the bridge. After that, we need to continue toward Zdoni, which is the twin piers. We can see them right here. And then we go over the Hudson River. So we should go just to the left of the uh, Statue of Liberty, which is right there. Maintaining 4,000 feet, from there we will go along the Hudson River. We're going to have a nice view over the uh, World Trade Center right there. Then we will be abeam the Empire State Building. Finally, we are going abeam the uh, Central Park. And finally, we turn over Columbia University on final for runway 13. So there. I have set the restriction, as I said before, Lady, which is Statue of Liberty, 4,000 or above. And then we have the all arrival to runway 13. So basically, everything is set for you. If you want to fly it like me, just go ahead and copy what I'm going to do. And if you want to fly it completely manual, just take autopilot off, flight director off, and go ahead and fly it precisely as per the prescribed flight track of the uh, approach chart. All right, so I'm going to take the control and let's go. So I hold the brake for three seconds. Here we go. And here I'm going to use LNAV VNAV. And I have FMC speed LNAV VNAV path. And now I will let the aircraft fly. The idea here is to check the capability of the PMDG 737, which should bring us on final at the correct altitude so that I can just arm the approach and fly down the ILS. So we are going to see if that works nicely with that PMDG aircraft. All right, so here we are over the bridge. This is where the approach starts. And then we're expecting the aircraft to turn left on track 353, slightly left to go over the twin piers. Then we are going to go along the river, just left of the Statue of Liberty, 4,000 feet. Then we will be able to start our descent and we will continue the approach. So for passengers seated on the right hand side, they will enjoy a beautiful view. And for the one, unfortunately, on the left hand side, well, they are in the aircraft, which is not bad, and they will end up in New York. All right, so here we go. We pass uh, VZ. So I'm going to slow down now to enjoy the view and to have a stabilized approach, because as you can see, from there, we have only 19 track miles to landing. So we are turning now on 353. I will go on speed intervene. Here we go. And I will reduce to up speed. And now I will ask for flaps one. Soon the FMC will cry that she needs to descend. Here it is, reset MCP altitude. So what I will do here, I will put 1000 feet as a reference to be stabilized. It's a visual approach. Again, if you use automation, it's, it's, uh, you are 100% authorized to use full automation as long as you keep the responsibility of your lateral and vertical navigation. So this is what we are doing today as an exercise. So here we go, twin piers. Here they are. And then we should start the right turn to go just to the left of the Statue of Liberty. So let's see if our passenger seated on the right hand side can see the Statue of Liberty. Yes, they can. Perfect. Now the aircraft will start descent very soon. So I'm going to follow with the heading bug. And as soon as we start descent, I'll go flaps five to have a stabilized descent. So let's go bug one now as we have flaps one. And I will go flaps five. And once we go flaps five, I can bug five. And the aircraft will start to slow down slowly and she will start the descent as well. Great, we are passing uh, Lady, 
So now we start descending. I will give the control to the aircraft again for the speed. So we are in Vinav Pant. She has the control on the speed. Next is Liberty, which should be a beam, the Empire State Building. If I look to the right now, I will probably see the Empire, sorry, not the Empire State Building. This is uh, the uh, World Trade right there. Really a beautiful view for passengers seated on the right hand side here. And as you can see, the aircraft is flying. She's flying by herself. That's the beauty of this automation when it's probably, when it's uh, correctly uh, configured. So feel free to try it and leave me your comments if you, uh, if you do the same exercise. So Liberty, that will be, uh, we said the uh, Empire State Building. So again, if I go to the right hand side, soon I should see the uh, Empire State Building. We can see it already right there. And it will come very soon here. Here it is for the passengers again on the right hand side. Okay, let's go for the next configuration. We are going gear down, flaps 15. We do the actions. Here we go. And arming the speed brake. That's it. To the right side, we passed, perfect. Let's see from outside a little bit here. So this is Central Park now. And finally, we have the university right there and the airport is right here. So we are going to see that in a minute. Perfect, so the aircraft is going down. We are a beam Central Park as part of the waypoint. Let's have a look. So we know we are correct. Look at this, what a nice view. Now, if you cannot see your glide slope deviation there is because we have more than 90 degrees use the standby instrument you go approach mode here and then you can see that we are quite nicely on profile we're about to turn final with the university the campus of the university so we are going to turn on final to join the runway you can see the runway right there so the aircraft will turn final let's go flaps 30 and we will see how she managed the right turn. Beautiful, she's turning right. I will synchronize the heading. 134. And if you're lazy like me and you wanna test the automation all the way down, click approach mode and look at what's happening here. Localizer, glide slope. We are fully stabilized. Right hand side. Again, the last chance to see Central Park and Manhattan. Now what we do, set Mr. Poach altitude as we did before, 3000 feet, we were briefing it and we can go ahead with the landing checklist. Landing checklist, please. So we have engine start switches to continue. Speed brake is on, the landing gear is down and flaps, we have 30 green light. Landing checklist completed, perfect. 1000 feet stabilized. The runway is in front of us. Mr. Approach altitude is set. Now I will try not to screw the landing. And uh, let's see. Eh? Let's take the automation off. Autopilot comes off. And I will take auto throttle off. That's it. Now flying manually. I have the Papi. So we try to maintain the uh, Papi and see if the glide slope is correct. Everything looks good checked stabilized two and two i'm just flying visually the puppy you see the glide slope on the indication is slightly low but my puppy now is corresponding correcting three red correcting and we should be back on the profile here we go three red again correcting All right, speed brake up. Reverse as normal. Auto brake disarm. 60 knots out of reverse and vacating via November to the right. And I will use FSI panel to do the after landing flow for me. So I just retract 
one notch of flaps with F6 key and then FSI panel will do the rest. Perfect, we landed. Let's put the parking brake and welcome to New York guys. I hope you enjoyed that quick approach. River 1-3, full automation and she did very well, very nicely done the PMDG. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys. That will help me a lot. And uh, if you have any question or comment, I'm always available either on my Discord channel and or you can leave a comment down below or on the forum. Stay safe and see you next time. Bye bye.